Good morning guys. Welcome to another What I Ate in a Day. Okay, I wanted to film this video for a few reasons. Okay. Whew, where do I even begin? I, I haven't, I don't know where to begin. The last What I Ate in a Day that I did, I was under fueling ridiculously and I wasn't completely aware of that because I was trying to like not overthink food and I was intuitively eating and intuitive eating is great. Wow, I'm really just jumping straight into it. One of the reasons I wanted to share this, what I eat in a day, was to share a positive video showing how good it is to eat enough calories and extra calories. I don't count my calories or anything, but I am aware of just like energy densities of foods. And I am trying to add more energy. If you've been watching my recent videos, I do need to gain a little bit of weight. I wanted to make this video to share what I eat in a day where I am trying to eat a lot more energy and gain weight because I need to gain weight for my own health for many reasons. If you've seen my other videos, you guys are completely aware of this. And as hard as I struggle with that mentally and sometimes physically, just because as I have kind of said, my body is not used to this yet. Um, yeah, as hard as I struggle with that mentally, I I want to be healthy. I want to share that with you guys. And I'm, I need to do this for me. I want to be healthy. I want to be fast again and strong. Get a period. And you know what? You're not young forever. So I don't want to waste any more time. I just want to do the right thing by my body. So honestly, what I eat in a day is uh, like there's good and there's bad. Like that's just life. There's good and bad. Social media, good and bad. What I eat in a day is I just, okay, the bad, there's a lot of bad. Like it's just full of comparison. So I just want to say not to compare yourself to anybody else's what I eat in a day. I'm telling myself this too, as I always do when I give you guys advice. It's, it's mainly me giving me advice as well. Everybody is so different so somebody else is what I eat in a day is not going to be right for you because they're not you and you don't know if they're under fueling either I am an athlete I train a lot I need a lot of energy so I need to fuel myself especially if I need to gain weight I also just wanted to make like a really positive video about gaining weight I know it's scary to do but but I just thought if you know if I make it more happy and fun then it'll be less scary so I do want to do more of these series where it's like you know gaining weight or just slowly working to my way towards there i don't want to get anyone kind of being like this isn't like oh you're trying to gain weight try harder that's not good enough because i did kind of mention in my um seeing a dietitian video that we're doing this slowly i'm not suddenly just going to do like a 10,000 calorie challenge because mentally that's just not gonna be beneficial it needs to be sustainable and slow so i'm just trying to start slowly by upping my energy um, gradually so it might not be a hugely energy dense just yet but I am trying and you know I'm just trying to remind myself why I'm doing this and how much better I'm gonna feel to be healthy and energetic so I also just wanted to share some fun healthy meal ideas and recipes <sighs> so I guess I should start with breakfast I could talk for a long time as we all know um, fun fact I don't actually have oats for breakfast every single day um, as a lot of people think, I have so many different breakfasts, like smoothies, oats, I've been having Vitabrits lately, which is what I'm going to have today, protein pancakes, it's always a sweet breakfast though, like sometimes I have savoury, but really rarely, but I think I want to make like a, a week of breakfast, rest, blah, 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 a week of breakfasts video, or maybe two, to show like heaps of different brekkie ideas. Before I have breakfast, I always have a big glass of water, and today I'm going to have one of these apple cider vinegar shots. No, I'm not a fad diet or crazy naturopathic type of person that's like, oh, I need my health shot in the morning. <laughs> I just got this in my goodness me box. It tasted really good. But no, you don't need to have like a health shot in the morning. That's, that's ridiculous. But I'm also having a health shot in the morning, so <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Anyway, let me scull my water. You know how they always say like you should drink a big glass of water first thing every morning? When I first started doing this, when I was like in year nine or something like that, I wanted to vomit. Like having one sip of water in the morning made me like almost need to throw up. Like, I don't know why. Like, and I know my friends who don't drink water first thing in the morning. Haley, if you're watching this, they, it makes them want to gag. Like having to have water first thing in the morning. But my body's like completely used to it now that I wake up thirsty. Like I wake up and I'm like, water. Um, yeah, water in the morning. So good for you. It's water, like it's water, but also you haven't had water for like hours, like potentially like 12 hours. 
if you slept for a while, but also because if you didn't drink directly before bed, it's probably been a long time. So you're probably dehydrated and yeah, just, just hydration, you know? Okay, I need to shut this intro so long. Cheers. Okay, I'm about to put on my toppings, which I use a lot of fruit. I always put on a banana and berries. And can I just say, this banana was like unripe yesterday. And now look at that. This is the result of a 40 degree day. All of the fruit in our house is suddenly super ripe after one day. Like, that's not an exaggeration. It was literally 40 degrees. It's not even summer yet. So, Australia. However, it means the avocado that was not ripe is now ripe. So, guess what I'll be having for lunch? Southern California It's where the people came to play Don't let them transform you oh, 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 oh. Hey. Come and see what you've been missing On a little slice of heaven It's the only So we just waited for them to get nice and soggy Because I am a soggy wheat bix kid It's the best So for brekkie, I have my bowl of Vitabrits with my protein shake. If you have wheat bix or Vitabrits or anything like this, please try it with a protein shake. It soaks up the protein shake and it just, it tastes so good. Like any flavor, just your favorite flavor. Like there's never going back to just like regular like almond milk, milk, soy milk, whatever you use once you've used protein shake. There's no going back. It's, mmm. So I am a soggy wheat bix kid. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion, but they are better soggy. They soak up all the, the milk, you know? So I'm gonna eat this, and then today is a study day. I'm in the middle of my exams right now, so I'm just gonna be studying all day, and then in the arbor I have training. So I guess I'll see you guys later in the day. I'm currently having a little study break to try on some swimwear that I bought online. So I've tried this one on the other day, but I haven't tried any of the others on yet. So I'm just going to try it on and see what they're like. And this one I'm actually really surprised with. It is really nice. It's like a rainbow print and it's ribbed. And it's got these tie up strings. I love the color and the strings and... The back is quite a little bit raunchy, but wow, like I'm impressed by this. It's like a rainbow paddle pop vibe. So that is Cozy number one. And this is Cozy number two. So this is like a half half one. It's the same cut as the other one. It's like a serpent, like half half a dragon serpent print and half just plain white. And it has like the same raunchy cut. I like this. I like this color, I like just like white, but it's like not just plain white. Got a little bit of something, something, you know. Next is this leopard print top. I didn't get bottoms for this one. This is just like a bit of a leopard print going on, and it's like a kind of cup situation, but really small because I don't really have much to cut. And then I also got a similar one to this, but in, <laughs> please work, a similar one to this, but in lilac. This one is similar to the leopard print, except the leopard print was a tie up and this is adjustable straps. And I also got matching bottoms to this one, which are again, the same as the other ones. I really like this one. I didn't want to get it in this color, but the color I wanted was sold out so the last cosy it looks like it's going to be a little bit too big but i'll just try it on for the sake of it so so this is the last one it's my least favorite i love the color and the print but i just don't think it fits me that well i don't know like it's okay it's just a little bit i don't know how i feel about this one so now that i've done my random little cosy haul i wanted to have a little chat let me just put years down so i wanted to have a little bit of a chat about some of the things that i've been dm'd and also intuitive eating so basically intuitive eating it's just normal eating like it's just like 
how a normal person would eat, how a child eats. You eat when you're hungry and you stop when you're full and you listen to your body basically. So I think that's a great way to live your life. Intuitive eating is the goal of where everyone wants to get to and it's a really great concept. It's weird that it's a concept because it's just like normal but it's a great concept to live by I guess. The only thing is there are times where intuitive eating is not going to work for you and for me right now I was doing that but it's not one of those times that it's working for me because my body just isn't, my intuition isn't right anymore, partly because of my mind, but also because my body, um, you know, it might not be used to eating how much it should be eating for it to be fully healthy and how much I used to be eating. So intuitive eating for me when I was like at school and I was healthy and running at nationals was great because I ate a lot and, and I craved healthy foods because that's what I was used to eating and what I enjoyed eating. So for someone in recovery, intuitive eating might not be good for you. Well, it won't be good for you if you're not getting hunger cues. So if you're not hungry, that's obviously not good for you when you need to be eating and if you're an athlete as well. There are times where you need to learn how to intuitively eat. So that might be working with a dietitian to make sure you're getting enough food or working out times of the day to eat around training or anything like that. And then when you're used to that, then you can intuitively eat. It also might not be good for people who are overweight or who eat really poor diets because their intuition might be to keep eating and to have junk food when that's not going to be good for their body. So intuitive eating is obviously a good thing, but you just have to know if you're ready for it. And I know I was in the past intuitively eating all throughout school, but right now I need to be aware of what I'm doing. So if that means planning ahead or thinking about what I'm going to have for snacks and stuff like that, then, then that's fine. And you know, intuitive eating might not just be a mental thing, it could be just a busy schedule thing. Like if you're so busy that you haven't planned your lunch and packed something that you miss lunch, then you're not gonna be great at intuitive eating either. So I thought I'd just add that because I do get messaged about that a bit. I get asked questions about extreme hunger and not feeling hungry in recovery or just coming out of a place where you've restricted food. I did get a question from someone saying they're always hungry so they have to fill up on veggies because they just have extreme hunger even though they're only under fueling a little bit and I just said like your body is screaming at you like this is your body saying to you feed me. So if you're getting that extreme hunger that's a good thing that's your body responding and saying giving you those hunger cues saying feed me all you have to do now is listen to them which mentally is what can be challenging, but just remember when you do listen to them, eventually they go away. All your body is trying to do is get to a good size for you and it's gonna be different for every single individual. So you can't compare what that is to someone else. You can't be like, they have a period at a lower weight than me. What's wrong with me? You just have to think, cool, that's great, that's them, that's not me. And it might be the opposite. You might be a smaller person and that's just completely fine. Like you just have to learn to love your own body at the size that it is. And also just embrace that bodies change all the time. So right now my body's probably smaller than what it's gonna be when I'm a bit heavier, which is completely fine because when I'm heavier, I'm gonna be healthier. If you're getting extreme hunger, that's your body saying, feed me, it needs more calories. And if you're under eating a little bit, over time that adds up. If you're doing that chronically, that really adds up. Obviously this person that messages to me knew that they were in a disordered place because they weren't feeling enough and they were trying to fill up on veggies, which that's something I've a thousand percent done in the past. And it's not serving your body when all it needs is enough energy, then you're going to be hungry and you're not going to be getting healthier. So, you know, obviously you need veggies for your health. They're full of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, all that jazz. But you need energy for your health. So veggies are meant to be a little bit of your caloric intake, but not majority of it. I don't know where I'm going with this. Basically, I'm just saying you need to eat more calories if you're hungry and not just fill up on veggies. You need the energy. Your body's just saying, give me calories, give me energy, I need it. And if you're underweight and you're trying to gain weight, you're not gonna be doing that in a deficit. So we all know this though, but I'm gonna go into a little bit more study and then make myself some lunch. So for a study break, sometimes I just like walk outside and do some pull-ups but I've never done five consecutive yet. And then I don't know why I just felt good today and I did five consecutive and I was like, damn, I should have been videoing that so I can have my video evidence of my new year goals thing, but I can take that off. So I'm going to do a video on like reviewing this year's new year's goals. Um, most of them went unticked, but that's fine. Next year's a new year. I can still do them, but anyway, I will see you at lunch.
without crunch. Mm. Another amazing thing about sourdough, besides it being delicious and nutritious, is it stays super crunchy even after I've like drowned this in lemon. Mm. As much as I love brunch culture and brunch dates, it uh, it angers me going out and spending. Avocado and toast literally ranges between $15 to $25. That's literally for like one or two pieces of avocado and toast. <sighs> that literally angers me because you can make like 16 pieces of avocado and toast for like less than $10. You can buy a loaf of good grainy sourdough for like five bucks, two avocados for four bucks, that's $9. And we have a lime tree, so just grab the limes off the tree. That could literally make you like 16 pieces of avocado. No, that's, that's probably a bit many. I've paid $23 for avo toast before. It was at Blackwood. It was good, but like not $23 good, you know? Anyway, you can easily make your own. That's super delicious, but also affordable. So I'm going to go eat this now. Then I'll get back into studying and I'll see you for a snack before training this avo. my way to training so I wanted to have another little chat sorry I'm so annoying and talk so much but I just wanted to spread some more positivity about about gaining weight and getting to a healthy weight and you know getting a period back and being strong and healthy and one of the things that I've just been focusing on as I've said so many times is just why I'm doing this and why I want to be healthy and how important that is to me but I also just want to give myself a chance like not just to see how good I can be fitness wise and in sport and like if I can improve in that again but just in life like when you're this lighting's not very nice is it anyway um <laughs> wow when you have low energy availability it takes out of more than just you know your physical health but it takes out of your mental health as well your brain runs on glucose I just want to give myself a chance to see what I'm capable of like physically in sport fitness and strength but also just mentally and in life like emotionally psychologically socially because when you have low energy availability when you're suffering with red s or with an eating disorder it impacts all aspects of your life mental and physical and i'm just like i don't want to spend any more time at war with myself or not giving myself the best chance to see what i'm capable of in life so i hope that if you are struggling with getting better from a place of low energy availability or you know in a bad mental place in that area that maybe you can take that on as well and think you know what well, I want to give myself the best chance at life it can be in anything like your brain health like to be better at school and studies to be better at your event or your sport to be a better friend a better family member just everything so that's another thing that I'm just excited for restoring low energy availability is something that you can do pretty quickly you can get your energy back pretty quickly from eating properly and another way to do that not just by increasing the energy you intake is decreasing the energy you output so obviously I'm still training but I did mention that I've stopped doing my gym stuff and I'm just focusing on my track stuff and I've already felt like I've felt a difference from that like my actual running sessions have felt more solid I've felt more energetic and just enjoying them as well as just running better you don't need to stop all exercise but modifying your training so you're doing a little bit less and making sure that you're eating even more to compensate for the training that you're doing 
is something that can help restore your energy availability. Anyway, I need to stop talking so I can go and train and I will see you guys tonight at dinner. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe I will pass by someone save me For a pass I come too lonely To be done on my job So it's almost 8.30 and I'm back from training Training went really well It was just like a conditioning tempo session but I felt good, like I felt it was easy. We did 10 200s on the grass with two minutes between, so it wasn't like super quick because it was conditioning work and they were all around like 32, 33 pace. And yeah, I felt good. I do think I've been definitely feeling better since trying to up my energy intake and not doing my gym sessions. So yeah, for dinner, I have this big kind of bowly plate. I call it a bowly plate because it's like a, a mix between a plate and a bowl of my mum's veggie dal. She calls it her gym dal because she got the recipe from a newsletter at our gym like ages ago. And it's basically like a veggie dal with lentils, chickpeas, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, spinach, veggie stock, spices. It's really good. I've put the recipe on my at Whole Food Gram Instagram. I'll put a link in the description box below to that post with the recipe. And I'm having it with some brown rice and frozen peas that I microwave but it's so good. By the way, I wanted to add, I don't normally spend all day in this kitchen, like sitting at this table studying and then having like lunch and dinner breaks at this table. It's just like, I'm in exams right now and it's just like easier to study with all my stuff spread everywhere on this table. So I have been living in, in this kitchen a little bit, but it's not always like that, I promise. <laughs> It's pretty late now. It's just after 10 and I've just been studying since I ate dinner and I'm pretty full but I always have a snack. I can't always wait until I'm hungry to eat because sometimes my body just doesn't tell me it's hungry yet. So I'm having a piece of my mum's homemade pineapple banana bread. I think she called it a pineapple loaf. It is so good and it doesn't have any dates in it. The only sweetener in it is banana. I love it so much. I've been having it as my snack after dinner like a lot lately. It has walnuts in it and I have put the recipe up on my at Whole Food Gram Instagram but this version that she made is a carrot pineapple loaf so it also has an additional one grated carrot to that recipe that I posted but I really recommend trying this out. It's so good. And then I also have a shit ton of nuts. Almonds are my favorite nuts. And also love me some like cashews. Roast almonds, roast almonds. If you hate almonds, make sure they're roast before you judge because natural almonds, like without being roasted. And then I also just made myself a Rueboise tea. I usually have a herbal tea at night or a Rueboise tea. The question about how, how can you increase your calories without having to eat like heaps of junk foods if you need to gain weight and you're struggling. I did want to touch on the physical things that you can do to get more calories in if you're struggling physically. So one of those is to have healthy fats. Fats are a lot higher in energy than carbs and proteins. All foods are a combination of carbs, fats or proteins, but whichever they're more predominant is what you would consider them. So for example, nuts are a 
source of fat because they're predominantly fat but they do offer a tiny bit of protein but yeah so having nuts you get so much more energy or calories for a smaller serve and that's the same with any fat so so even though i'm not hungry by having nuts i'm getting in a ton of energy and i love nuts as well so obviously finding foods that you really enjoy so that's another thing if you are struggling to physically get in enough food then you can do things like having nut butters like drowning your oats in peanut butter almond butter whichever is your favorite having like a piece of toast with, that is slathered in peanut butter with a banana on top you can get in a lot of energy like that smoothies you can get in so much more calories as a liquid if you are struggling so you fill it with protein powders nut butters medjool dates oofed oofed dried fruit that's another one because they are concentrated there's a lot more energy in a smaller size so there's so many little things you can do to get more energy in if you are struggling in the physical sense not the mental sense like oils adding olive oil to salads or you might not be having salads because that doesn't really help you that much with getting more energy in that's another thing not bulking up on veggies so that's something that i definitely did so much and i remember whew, i went through a phase where i could not eat oats without grating zucchini into them and zucchini oats are great i love them but there's a place for them and for someone who is underweight that's not going to be helping you to get more energy in you know if you're at a healthy weight and you just want to get more veggies in each meal go for it zucchini oats yes but if you're struggling to get in more food, then replace that zucchini with extra oats, which have more energy to them. So basically just having foods higher in energy is how you can get more energy in without feeling horrible. Even like a curry, like a curry is pretty heavy, like what I had for dinner, delicious, nutritious and energy. So hopefully that helps, even though I'm completely aware that it's more mental than physical most of the time. I'm gonna end this video here. I feel like I talked so much today. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was more positive. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you did like the video, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, so hot.